In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to create point, line, and polygon shape file in ArcMap. So, so the first step is to connect with a particular folder. So for that, you can see at the top, catalog. So click on this catalog. Now you can see this is the catalog panel. First, we need to connect to a particular folder. So connecting to a particular folder is essential because uh, this helps us in accessing the data sets in our system. Another thing is we can also create data sets to a particular folder. For that also it is useful. So click on this connect to folder. So this art catalog acts as a file manager where we can uh, manage our data sets. Many more functions are there that we will be covering in the upcoming videos. Now select this PC. So you can see a couple of drives over there. It will be showing you for you as well. Your drives will be showing up here. So here I am going to select a particular drive where I need to where I need to host the shape file or, or save the shape file. So I have chosen ArcJS. Now click on OK. And let us see whether the connection has been established so you can see folder connections let me click over here and you can find that uh, the connection has been established now click on this plus symbol you can see within this there are many uh, folders and you can create a new folder select new and select folder so I'm going to name it as vectors Vectors. So we have successfully created a folder. The thing we should be kept in mind is that uh, when you are creating a folder, uh, don't uh, uh, leave spaces like this. You can you should not leave space. You should be using uh, underscore. For example, it should be like this. You should be using underscore. No sp space should be leave in between. Keep that in mind. Now click on this vector and select new and select shape file so first let us understand what is point point is having us I've seen what is a uh, point data is so you can see here uh, explanation over here the points is nothing but a single coordinate pair defines its location for example you can see here these points so it is having a location it may be uh, for example telephone poles or it may be uh, individual buildings or it, it may be in uh, tree species so it doesn't have any dimensions it's just been represented as a location as you can see over here single coordinate pair system uh, it doesn't have any dimensions but uh, in the real world it has some dimensions for example uh, if you are uh, you can locate uh, the uh, electrical poles uh, telephone boots hospitals, police stations, schools that can be represented in point or individual trees that can be represented in points but it does uh, in real world it has some dimension it has it might be having some height or width dimensions will be there but in a uh, JAS point doesn't have dimension it just has a single pair of coordinate so here you can uh, rename it uh, for example, if you are digitizing uh, uh, the schools, you can rename it as schools. Uh, it, uh, it is based on your work. So in this case, I am just going to name it as points. And you can see the option edit over here. We need to provide the spatial reference. So select edit. So now you can see here. This is uh, I will be giving this link. You can use it for a uh, uh, for specifying the special reference so I'm going to use the UTM that will be uh, much more uh, region specific and you can calculate the area length so I'm going to use the projected coordinate system UTM so here in this case you can see for each country the coordinates uh, for each country the zones has been given for example, if you are staying over here, South Africa, in this region, 
for you the zone will be 35 or if you are there in Australia over here so for you it will be 50 so I'm going to use uh, UTM zone 44 as you can see here so likewise you can choose it accordingly if you are there in uh, located in US you can see it I'll be giving this link in the description please to check it out now you can see the projected coordinate system click on it and you can find U UTM come down you can see WGS 1984 double click now the name is Pier so you have to correctly locate it where you are located northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere so in this case I am located in northern hemisphere here we are going to choose the zone so I am going to choose UTM zone 44 you can see over here this entire region comes in zone 44 so after selecting it you can add it to favorites also click on add to favorites so that uh, you you don't have to browse now every now and then click ok you can see the projected coordinate system is being brought in now click on ok so we have successfully created point shape file the procedure is same for uh, polyline and polygon so coming to the uh, polyline that is vector line you can see the vector lines is created when it is when the point data is connected so this is the vector line as you can see here the points are connected then point data is converted into vector line data and it should not be enclosed so this is you can see it is an open circuit it, it is not being closed if it is closed that is called as polygon So the uh, line can be used to represent uh, streams, rivers, road networks, power lines, outlines, uh, boundaries, or uh, railway lines, topographic lines like contours, etc. So sorry, uh, contours. Uh, yeah, it can be used as a. It, only thing is, we are going to change the type. Once again select shape file here I am going to name it as line and feature type will be polyline edit so I have already added two favorites so this time it will be much more easier I don't have to browse it click ok once again click ok so we have created a line shape file also now the next is vector polygon data as you can see here when the lines are connected into an enclosed shape then this type of data termed as polygon as you can see here previously we have seen a point line and polygon so uh, multiple points is combined is called as polyline when it is enclosed when the circuit is closed that is called as polygon when it, the circuit is not closed like this, it is called as polyline. So I hope uh, this thing uh, makes you clearer what is a point line and polygon. Finally, we are going to create a polygon shape file. Here, it should be polygon edit special reference select zone okay okay so we have successfully created point line and polygon in the next video we are going to see how to digitize this points line and polygon separately so if you have any other doubts in this please to ask in the comment section thanks for watching please to subscribe goodbye